Hey y'all, Fuller again with Custom Offsets, Custom Offsets TV on the YouTube. Got another vehicle spotlight for you today. This is a 07 Silverado 1500. He's got some 20 uh, by 12 negative 44s on there, and these tires are actually 13 and a half inches wide. Let's go. All right guys, so the truck got lifted. It's now taller and my hair is shorter from when we did the intro. But as you can see, the banker went in and he put a seven and a half inch rough country lift in here. So it's got the spacer up top. That's how you get your seven and a half inches of lift. And then what we did for wheels and tires, this is a 20 by 12 Moto Metal 970, black with the milling or machining around the edges of the spokes there. It's a pretty sharp looking wheel. For our uh, build test, we're adding one zero at a time. We graduated from the single, we're up to a 10. So you can see that's all of six inches. It's a little more than that, six and a quarter probably. If you went all the way up to the ridge, you'd be at six and a half. So a good size lip on that wheel. You've seen a ton of these, it's the same as every other one. For tires, these are the Nitto Ridge Grapplers. <coughs> it's a 35 by a 13 and a half. So because he went with a 13 and a half wide tire, um, you had to do a big time NorCal on this one. So that involves cutting behind here there's some metal you got to cut take a little triangle pie shape out of hit that back with a hammer heat up your plastic and slide it back to make some clearance and then in the front you can see Mario he's got the lower valence trimmed and then the corner of this bumper is trimmed off too as well as the inner fender liner and because like I said this is a 13 and a half inch wide tire you will still get some rub at full turn where if you do this on a 12 and a half um, which is actually what bankers running on his truck you can check out his video too it clears way better. So because it's an extra inch wider, you run into some, some uh, fitment problems. In the back, it's just a spacer um, underneath the leaf packs here, and then new shocks, and that's how you get your lift in the rear. Fitment obviously in the back isn't affected because there's no turning going on back there. He's got his roll-up tonneau cover, the uh, match tint, tow mirrors with the smoked out corner lights, and that's about it. So I'll have you look down the side just so you can see the stance. So that sticks out a good, you know, almost half your tires out. That's probably five plus inches of tires sticking out. So really aggressive stance. And I believe he has the grill Plasti Dip. Feels like Plasti Dip to me. So that's it. That is your 2007 Silverado 1500 on some 35, 13 and a halfs with the uh, 20 by 12s, negative 44s. Peace.